Welcome back to our YouTube series on CNU's Shortel phone system. I'm Will White with ITS, and in this video we're going to cover the basics of the Shortel software client. Before we get started, we need to talk about exactly what the software client does and doesn't do. So first off, let's talk about what it does. It remote controls your phone. It lets you quickly access the directory. It allows unlimited speed dials, so if you have a bunch of people that you need to call on a regular basis and or monitor their extensions, this is what you need to do that. It lets you access your voicemail, and it allows you to set forwarding and voicemail options very easily. We're going to cover the first four of those in this video. We'll have a special video that talks about all of the settings. There's a few things that the software client doesn't do. We are not set up to allow you to make and receive calls through your computer. So if you actually tell your client to call someone, it will call someone on your phone. It also does not work off campus unless you have a VPN set up. So let's talk a little bit about what you need to do to get started. So the first thing you need to do is request the Shortel client from ITS. It's very important that you include the words Shortel or phone in your request so that we know which client you need. You can do this either by calling the customer service desk at 757-594-7079 or by putting a ticket in at help.cnu.edu. Once you get that, you'll have to log in. You'll use your CNU username and password. And the first time you log in, it'll ask you for a server. So that's tp01pv.cnuadmin.cnu.edu. Once you enter that once, you won't need to enter that again. All right. That stuff's out of the way, so let's take a look at how the client works. So let's take a look at the features of the phone client. So the first thing that I find useful is the ability to look people up in the directory. So you see here where it says name or number. I can click on here and type the name of the person I want to search for. So we'll search for Bugs Bunny. I can see right now that Bugs is available and so I'll click on his name and get his full profile. If I want to call him, all I have to do is click that green button and it will immediately have my phone call Bugs Bunny. Um, if I don't want to speak to him on speakerphone, I better be ready to pick the receiver up. The other things you can do with this is you can actually see additional information by clicking the Info tab. Since Bugs isn't a real person, uh, there's not a lot of information there. You also can see the call history down here, and if the person uses the Shortel client regularly, you can actually instant message with bugs right here. Of course, since bugs isn't real, he won't be able to respond. Now, you might have noticed when I searched for bugs, there's a little outline of a star next to his name. This allows me to set Bugs as one of my favorites. When I do that, if I go under People, he'll be on the list under Favorites. This makes it really easy to set an unlimited number of sort of speed dials for folks without having to worry about that cap of about six that you have on your phone. Again, all you have to do to call one of your favorites is click on their name and then click on the green phone in their profile. So another thing that the Shortel client allows you to do is handle incoming calls. Now, there'll be a notification both in the client and in the bottom right corner of my primary monitor telling me that I have a call. You won't be able to see the latter because it's on a different screen. But we can take a look. I'm calling my phone, and in a moment, you'll hear it ring in the background, and you'll see this box where I can either answer the call, send it to voicemail, or transfer it to somebody else. I'm going to pick up the phone. And you can see now I'm in the call with a number in Chesapeake, Virginia. Once I'm in the call, I can place it on hold, I can hang up, or I can actually transfer it to somebody else, which is what I'm going to show you right now. 
If I wanted to transfer this to Bugs Bunny, I just hit the transfer button. I can search for Bugs. Click on that. And now I have the ability to use any of those transfer functions that we have on our actual phone. So I can transfer blindly, do a consult transfer, park them, or send them directly to the voicemail. If I'm done with the call, I can just hang up using the button on the phone. So I've gone ahead and placed a call and left a voicemail off screen so that you can see the next group of functions in the Shortel client. And that's the recent calls and voicemails. You'll see right here in the client that it records that there's a new voicemail. If I click on that, it'll bring me to the recent tab and with voicemails selected. All I have to do is click on the voicemail and I can play it using this button either on my phone if the phone toggle is selected or on my computer if the speaker's toggle is selected. I can also forward this message, delete it, and if it's somebody on campus I can actually reply by voicemail. The other thing that the recent tab has is an entire call history. All I need to do to see it is click this drop down here and change it to either everything or calls. And I can see every phone call that's come either to or from my phone. So that they're easy to see, missed calls are highlighted in red. All you have to do to view what's going on with one of them is click on the call and it will show you the profile of the person that you've called or who called you. So these are kind of the basic features of the client. There are settings that you can control through the client, but that's a topic for the next video. Thanks for watching this video. If you need help with anything to do with the software client or your phone in general, you can contact the CNU Help Desk at 757-594-7079 or help.cnu.edu. Thanks, and we'll see you next time.